We started painting this live on Saturday night and I kind of had this design in mind. And then the more I looked at it, the more I was like, I'm just not really feeling it. And this is something we get asked all the time. Like, I got started and I don't like it, what do I do? Repaint it, it's no big deal. So today, we're gonna take this chest, we're gonna repaint it and do a completely different design. And hopefully, I like it this time. Hopefully. <laughs> We're using DIY paint in Skeleton Key. It's kind of a grayish blue color. I would say it's like a smoky blue. And because we've already got a coat of DIY paint on here, this should get us pretty much full coverage in one coat. And we're hoping we can paint this entire thing with a sample. We don't know yet. I have a backup sample, just in case. I didn't have a pint or a quart, so this is what we got. We're not worried about full coverage because when it's all dry, I'm thinking I might do a white wash over the top. So if there's a little bit of white peeking through, that's okay. I think the biggest thing that was throwing her off was the contrast in the colors, the mint chip in the center, the beadboard, and then the brown top just wasn't working. Maybe if I would have like lightened the mint chip a little bit so it wasn't so like, Whoa! Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know, but I'm just, I have a whole new idea now. We almost got it with a sample, but because we're painting the back of this piece and I also need to paint the underside, I'm gonna have to dip into a second sample, but I'm sure it won't use it all. The spots where it's dark, I just had some bleed through that came through, maybe some grease or something that didn't come off the first time. So I just sprayed shellac on it. That way when I put this second coat on here, I don't have the bleed through and greasy spots coming through. The lip on this hangs over a good inch and a half all the way around. So we're gonna go ahead and paint that. That way it doesn't look funny when you open it. We're leaving the inside alone because that's lined with a cedar chipboard and we don't wanna lose the properties that the cedar gives for like bug repellent. If we have any areas where it gets on the lip where we don't want it, we'll just wipe it off before we seal it. Now the skeleton key is dry, I'm gonna be using DIY White Swan, but it's not normal White Swan. It's been watered down. You can see it's kind of drippy. I just had a little bit in the bottom of the can and I just added some water to it to make a white wash. Probably about four to five parts water to one part paint. You can mess around and see what consistency you like. So I'm just gonna take this and brush it across the top. And it doesn't have to be everywhere. Once I get it on the way that I want, then I'm gonna use a water bottle to kind of get it to move a little bit. Right now I'm just tracing some of the drips. I don't mind a few soft drips, but I don't want it to be like super uber drippy. And really this look can be anything that you want it to be. You could water your paint down more and get a less washed look, or you can do lots and lots of water and get it really drippy and blending. And what we'll do is this is gonna dry completely Zeb's gonna spray a couple coats of Sweet Pickens top coat. Um, you could also use DIY Big Top, and then once that's dry, we'll be ready to put a transfer on here. I actually have Big Top in the sprayer. Well, we have Big Top in the sprayer. Right there.
One of the things I love about DIY paint is it's so pigmented, which means even though it's like super watered down and we're spraying it down, I still get a lot of white coverage with it because the pigment is so rich in it. Now that I sprayed it and it's really wet, I don't want to push hard because I don't want to pull through that skeleton key. So I'm just barely holding on to my palm pro here and just dragging my brush across to blend it a little bit. Got 220 grit and I'm just going to be doing a real light sanding. What this is going to do is it's going to soften up some of these brush strokes and maybe some of these drips that we've got here and just blend that all in a little bit. I'm not going real heavy. If there's still some drips at the end, that'll be all right. We're going for a fun kind of blended whitewashed look. And then after I get done with this, I'm gonna seal this front part up with DIY Big Top. And then Jamie wants to put a transfer on here. So we'll get the transfer on and then I'll seal the whole thing again. That way the transfer gets sealed as well. We're going to be using this IOD winter song transfer. You can pick it up at jamierayvintage.com. I'm just going to be using a portion of it, so I'll cut off part of it and then we'll put it on a piece. It's important that if you're going to be using these transfers that you seal it with something first because it doesn't like to stick to the super matte paint and sealing it will give it just a little bit better adhesion. So these are made in black and white because you can paint them. We're going to leave it just black and white on this piece. They're like an adult coloring book. For sure. And I think we're this part that we're not using right here, we're going to use it on another piece and color it. But it comes with this backing. It's not attached. It's just there so that way the transfer doesn't get ruined. Make sure the backing stays up against the transfer until you're ready to use it because if this transfer sticks to itself or anything else, it's not going to adhere to your furniture. All right, so I've come inside the house because I don't want it to be windy and I need a nice flat surface to cut this off on. I'm just going to cut off this piece here because I'll use it on another piece of furniture later. I'm gonna roll this back up with the backing still on it and put this back in the tube so I can use it for another project. I never waste any piece of my transfer. So we like to figure out where we're going to put it before we set it down. So we leave the backer on so that way it's not stuck to our piece. I've got this centered, I've moved it so that way the bottom comes all the way to the edge and we've got a little bit coming off the top here so it looks a little bit more fluid but I think this is like the exact right size of transfer for this piece of furniture. I like how this U shape mimics the U shape here on the bottom of the piece. So this has this ledge in here, so that's going to be interesting. We're going to have to, when we get to that point, use the stick to push the transfer down into that area. We'll see how that works out. It'll probably just end up having that design there without much transfer on that spot. Yeah, I think that we might just do that. We'll see what happens. We're going to go ahead and just use this stick that it comes with and start removing the transfer. You'll kind of hear it pop as it becomes loose, and then you can kind of pull it up a little bit and as it adheres, you can just ride the wave, so to speak. You can see it's coming off underneath and if anything doesn't come off like right there, just put it back down and rub against it. That's like a thousand times better at this than me. Mm, that's debatable. <laughs> we're not gonna be painting this one. We're actually gonna leave it just the, the black outline. We think that'll look pretty cool. We'll see what it looks like when we peel it up. Yeah, we never, we, you never know till you actually get it on there what you're gonna do. 
The transfer is all applied now, so we can just pull this off, the grid off. So you can see where some of the transfer peeled away and it's just kind of hanging over the edge of this. I'm just going to push that over with my finger down into the groove there where that's been routered out. And it's breaking the transfer here and there. But I'm just going to do that all along that groove. And then once that's done we'll burnish this, seal it, and it'll be good to go. So now that this is down on here, I'm going to take a lint-free rag and burnish and really just make sure that the transfer is really well secured to my piece of furniture. This is the last step that you're going to do before you put the final coat of sealer over the transfer. One thing that's really important when you're sealing a transfer is don't use any harsh liquid sealers. I like to use DIY Big Top or Sweet Pickens Top Coat because they're both all natural, not harsh, water-based sealers. I've never had a problem with those sealers peeling up or lifting my transfer. So really be careful when you're putting your top coat and make sure that it's not gonna cause any problems with adhesion or lifting. Tell them about your vision. <laughs> I don't know what my vision was when we started this. Like I kind of thought I knew what I was gonna do and then I totally didn't like it. I probably could have like amended a few things to make it work for me, maybe lightened up the mint chip, painted the top white, but I was just like, nope, I'm starting completely over. And sometimes that happens. One of our frequent questions is, what if I mess up? What if I don't like the way it's painted? And the reality is that anything that was painted once can be painted two times, three times. It's just paint. And I don't always know what I'm gonna do and I don't always know what your vision is. So sometimes it just takes working it out. It turned out pretty good. I didn't quite distress it as much as Jamie wanted, but it still looks really nice and I like the whitewash on it quite a bit. This is a great option if A, you don't have white wax, or B, you're looking to put a liquid top coat as the final coat because you cannot put liquid over the top of wax. We get this question a lot and I thought it would be a good opportunity to show you guys how you can just water down your leftover paint, create a wash. And you can use any color. You could do this in brown if you wanted kind of like a glaze effect. I mean, there's really, the sky's the limit. If you want to achieve this look, be sure to go to jamierayvintage.com. We use DIY paint in Skeleton Key and White Swan, and we used our synthetic brushes from Paint Pixie. And the transfer was IOD's Winter Song. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY. Hit the subscribe button.